Divi 5 has a brand new feature called Divi 5 Interactions. Now, this feature is very, very powerful because it brings life to all our modules, sections, and rows. Let me show you how it works. So over here, I have a quick example I just want to show you. Now, in SideCrafter Pro, which is the Divi 5 framework, we're able to quickly create this notice right here. But when you create it, it's just static. You know, you, 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 you know, if you try to close it, you know, nothing happens. But with this now, check this out. If I click on this X, it just hides it. This is how a notice is supposed to work. I mean, you click it, it goes away, and then you continue doing whatever you need to do on your website. Whereas before, it was just there, static, no movement, you know, you couldn't get rid of it. So let me show you how I was able to create that. So what I'm going to do quickly here is to go into edit with Divi so I can recreate it from scratch. And by the way, the reason why I'm using SideCrafter Pro is so that I can just create this super fast. All right, so we're going to delete this and create a brand new section. I'm going to come over here. We're going to go to a regular section. And by the way, for the Divi 5 interactions, you need to be running the latest version of Divi 5. So make sure you're running that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add a single row. And in this row, we're going to start off with a group. There we go. So in this group, we're going to add, we're going to add, say, text. And with this text here, I'm just going to override this with my own, you know, standard text. Next, I'm going to add an icon. So I'm going to search for my icon here and select it. So this icon here needs to be something we can use to just close an item. I'm just going to drag this to the top and we'll just above the text like that. And then over here now, we're going to search for, right, let's try cross. Okay, there we go. I've got it. I'm going to select that. And now we need to align it to the right. So I'm going to come over here, go to my alignment, align it to the right. And then finally, we're just going to change the size and the color. So we're going to go with 3RM for the size. And for the color, let's just go with black. Okay, great. So, so far, so good. The next thing we need to do now, and this is where SideCrafter Pro comes in. So instead of going in and adding padding, adding a background color and so on, all we have to do is to click here on group settings on this little icon here. We go to advanced, CSS ID and classes. And then over here on the class, all you have to type is notice. So this is going to be our class. And right away, you can see we have our notice. Now, this can be perhaps maybe success. So maybe you want to show a success notice or maybe you want to show an error. Pretty much it's up to you. So I'm just going to leave it as notice for this example. The only thing I need to do now is to come over here and just make sure that I center it. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and center it. Great. So now that I have this all set, it's just static. I mean, let me just show you. If I save this and preview this in a, in a new tab, all you're going to see is just a static item. Okay. So that's it. It's just static. If I click on it, nothing happens. And it never goes away. It just stays there. And that is not really cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here. And you know what? The best position for this is going to be right above here. Okay. So let's just add it here on the top. So to add our interactions now, they've added a new way of uh, viewing all these interactions. So what you need to do is to click on the item that you need to, that you need to add the interaction to. So in this case, I've clicked on this icon. So now I'm going to come over here to advanced. So you're going to notice now we have a new entry now called interactions. Okay. So if I click on here, we now have this plus button to add our interaction. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. So this is where you need to decide what the interaction has to be. So my trigger here is going to be the click. So I'm going to select that. So over here now, the effect, what needs to happen after you click? That's the question. And in this case, I want to hide element. There we go. Hide element. Okay. Now that I have my action, what is the target module? And my target module here is going to be that section. So I need to name the section, by the way. But anyway, let's just try this. But ideally, you need to name the section so that you know at least what you're doing. So let's save this. And in fact, just to be on the safe side, why don't we just name the section, okay? So I'm going to click here. We're going to come over here to admin label. And we're just going to call this, 
uh, notice. How about that? There we go. And then we're going to save. Now let's go back to this little icon here. We go to the uh, advanced interactions. Okay, so let's start one more time. We're going to come over here. Our trigger is click, hide element, and then here our target module. It just corrected itself. Section notice. Pretty cool. Okay, so now that we have this, we're just going to save. Save over here. Now let's head over now to our preview and refresh the page. Okay, so now when I click on this, this should basically disappear. Boom, and it's gone. Isn't that cool? So this feature alone is just gonna make me very, very excited because we can build modules that interact, they can do so many things. Now let's head over back here and let's see what else you can do. So there's so much you can do. Let's say you select this button here, right? We go to advanced. In fact, before we do that, let's name this section right here. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to admin and label, and we're just going to call this Mac. No, let's call this features. All right. So now that we have this, I'm going to save that. So we want that when we click on this button here, it just takes us to the features section. All right, so what we're going to do next is to add an interaction to this button here. So I'm going to click on it, and then we're going to come over here to Advanced, Interactions, and then we're going to click here on this plus button. So the question now is, what do you want our trigger to be? So this is what you need to ask yourself every time you use this feature. So I want that when I click on it, right, my action needs to be scroll to elements, okay? I'm going to select that. And then my target module is going to be my section, okay? So let's see, section features, you see that? But if you have a long list of items to choose, you can just search for it. So I'm gonna to go to section and then you can see it breaks it down here, here's section features. Okay, so let's go, I mean, we also have a time delay here. I haven't uh, tested that, I'm gonna hit save and then save one more time. Okay, so let's see what happens now when I click on this button. Do you see that? Pretty cool. I really love this. Now, remember those pages, I mean, those one page websites where you click something, it just takes you to a section of a, a page. This is a perfect example of that. So as you can see, this is a really, really powerful feature. It can, I mean, all these interactions can apply on literally anything. So check this out. If I click on this blurb here, I can go to advanced interactions and choose whatever interaction I want. So I can add an interaction here. It could be mouse over, it could be mouse exit, it could be viewport enter, it could be viewport exit, it could be load, it could be so many things. In fact, when I watched uh, Nick's video, he was actually doing a demo of a pop-up. So he was scrolling and then when he reaches to a, a certain section, a pop-up comes up enter your information and then you can just close it. And pretty much this is how powerful this feature is. Now, I know I've been using um, SatCrafter Pro to generate this quickly. Now, this is a separate product. It's my product. It is a framework which uh, just makes the designing of websites super fast. And it just makes it, you know, it just makes it very, very easy to design websites. I'll just give you one quick example here. So let's say I add a section here. And in this section, we want to add a text module, right? So instead of going in here and uh, typing all the text and going into the design tab, setting this to heading one, and then, you know, finding all the sizes and so on and so forth. With this now, you just click over here, go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and we can just say heading large. You see that? Now, if I want to make it bold, I can just say, or if I want to make it larger, I can say heading extra large. And then for the font size, I can say font 800. Do you see that? It has just gone uh, much more bolder. If I want it thinner, I can just go to font 100. And there we go. So 
this class-based editing system just makes the designing of websites super fast. And that is how I was able to achieve this so fast. Otherwise, this tutorial is going to take quite long. Anyway, go ahead, check out interactions. And also, if you're interested in DV5, the link to that is in the video description below. If you want to purchase Sidecrafter Pro Framework, again, there's a 40% discount for a lifetime uh, license. The link to that also is in the video description below. Let me know what you think about this feature. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.